Good morning, cadets. Today I'm going to take up a new chapter, Hundred Dresses by L. Astor, as the name suggests. Hundred Dresses. Hundred Dresses is a beautiful story. And the basic theme of the story is discrimination, judgmental attitude people have for other people. So some people try to judge the book by its cover. Oh, he has or she has worn beautiful dress. Definitely they are good. In this story we see a little girl, Vanda, judge for her unique name and qualities. She is uh, made fun of by her classmates, Peggy, Madeline. So she has a tough time in the school. The story revolves around bullying. We don't understand when we bully others, what impact or effect it has on their minds. Then it talks about equality, social isolation, class difference, that you belong to the upper class, lower class, and also talks about poverty. Vanda is a poor girl. So she has a tough time dealing with her rich classmates. Author is Elnior Esther. Vanda Pedronsky. So her character sketch, she is a poor Polish girl. So she belongs to Poland and the people of the Poland region is called Polish. Yes, so she um, has joined an American school. She was different from other students. She was very calm and quiet girl. She wore the same blue dress every day. So I already have told you it is a theme about his poverty. Uh, discrimination and all. So she did not have many dresses as her classmates or which classmates had. She wore the same blue dress every day and she did not mind being made fun of her by classmates Peggy and Maddie. She did not have any true friend. But one thing about her was she was talented, creative and had good aesthetic sense. So she drew Sketches of 100 dresses having different colors and design and won the girls medal in the art competition. This also proved her statement that she had 100 dresses all lined up in the closet. So when her friends used to make fun of her, she used to say that she has 100 dresses in her closet and which she meant and she drew it. Peggy, one of the classmates of Vanda. Peggy was the most famous girl of the school and she was very talented. In spite of teasing Vanda often, she was not mean from heart. After seeing Vanda's uh, drawings, she realized that Vanda was more talented than her. People respected uh, uh, Peggy maybe because of her social status, that she was rich. But actually Vanda was very talented. When Vanda was leaving, Peggy was stuck with guilt. She later learned the lesson that bullying and teasing others is not right. So that effect on the mind remains. So never do it. Then we have another girl, Maddie. Maddie was a student in room 13. She had curly hair, 
she was from a poor family but maddy had a friend that is peggy and peggy was rich but she had befriended with the most popular girl in the school peggy who was a rich girl maddy was kind and compassionate girl she joined other girls in teasing vanda so maddy should not have done it because maddy herself was poor but really she did not like teasing others she wanted to stop peggy from teasing vanda but she could not gather courage as she was afraid of peggy she feared peggy could make her the next victim she considered herself to be guilty she was very feeling that maybe or to call if she tells peggy that you are not right she may lose peggy but she knew that teasing vanda was not correct when vanda left the school she felt restless and could not sleep at night she went to vanda's house to say sorry and decided not to remain silent if anybody was being teased for poor dress or funny name she would speak up now there was a change in her character she decided that if some injustice is happening she will raise her voice she was even ready to give up her friendship with peggy she understood wrong is wrong even if rich people do it wrong is always wrong we should not tease others for their social status talking about the theme theme is of reconciliation so reconciliation you understand to become friends or to mend the relationship once again after the relationship or after anything friendship or things come to an end we once again unite so maddy seeks to reconcile with vanda after she leaves she desires to restore friendly relationship with maddy into bogins ides and eventually she even writes vanda a letter however these efforts go only temporarily and maddy is able to silence her guilt she is guilty that uh, i am also poor still i have teased uh, vanda i am just happy because i am in peggy's company without a face to face reconciliation maddy will never know whether vanda truly forgives her the reconciliation maddy craves is deferred until the book's final chapter when maddy recognizes her own features in the drawing vanda gave her in lieu of a face to face reconciliation maddy receives information and allows to believe vanda had liked maddy all along so vanda heart she forgives her though she knew that mad uh, maddy was also a poor girl but she forgives second theme is bullying which uh, usually children do if it is uh, of uh, some standard there is no problem in bullying your friend occasionally and having fun but it should not be nasty and vulgar things you do with your friend and the friend does not recover from it so don't go for vulgar and nasty bullying occasional uh, friendly bullying is acceptable nothing wrong though the author does not use the word in the entire chapter the word bullying is not of but they make fun of her the book's most prominent theme is bullying though peggy is name in her child perspective the 100 dresses game she instigates with vanda is mean so every time you ask how many dresses do you have when you see the person is wearing the same blue dress every day and you ask that person how many dresses do you have so your intentions are not good because vanda remains stoic and does not react it was good that vanda was a matured girl she did not react to such things peggy and other girls can tell themselves that the actions are not cruel in this way the book captures the nuanced and insidious nature of bullying so we come across in newspaper many many items regarding bullying so if you bully a sensitive or emotional person it has far reaching consequences 
that person becomes threatened that person becomes ashamed so we should not bully it's just a game for you but it is cruelty it may be a game but it is cruelty so you should not be bullying others class difference that is why basically in school there are uniforms why the introduction of uniforms in school so that you feel a uniformity that the other person also for example you people all of you wear khaki so everybody is wearing khaki so there is no class difference but if there is no uniform in the class and you are allowed to wear every day your own dresses then it creates a class difference everybody does not have lot of dresses and definitely it creates inferiority complex among children so several details about wanda's life signals that she and her family belong to a lower social class she is a she has a polish name she wears the same dress every day her brother works at the school her father's english is undeveloped she lives in bogin heights so bogin heights is like something like a slum area where uh, vanda resides she has difficulty reading aloud in class so she has become under confident so though she is intelligent because she suffers from inferiority complex she has difficulty in reading aloud also vanda's classmates may not realize it but their desire to tease vanda like stems from inherited bias against vanda's lower class position so basically this is not the fault of children they should be given a good upbringing at home itself they should be told how to treat their class mates by their parents elders at home when children bully the fellow classmates it's not the entire fault of that child because it is the lack of a good upbringing or environment good environment in the house is very required then we talk about the theme remorse remorse is sadness remorse drive the plot of 100 days maddie's guilt leads to obsess her over how she should have stood up for vanda so remorse is when sorrow is when maddie realizes that she is poor and she should stood, uh, she should have stood with uh, vanda but she joined peggy and uh, she has bullied her eventually sends her on a quest to reconcile with vanda maddie's sorrow or remorse is conveyed in distracting thoughts she has during class she is not able to focus in the class after vanda goes she fantasizes when vanda was bullied by everybody maddie should have protected her in the trip she takes to bogin heights and in the letter she and peggy writes to vanda we come to know that both are suffering knowing that the book is semi autobiographical the reader can deduce the author's remorse was so great that she maddie eventually wrote a book about the incident she became so guilty that i also belong to a poor class then why didn't i protect vanda i joined peggy and all she feels it peggy and maddie used to wait for vanda before school even if it meant getting late maddie a poor girl herself did not like when peggy made fun of vanda she feared that she could be next she wanted peggy to stop making fun of vanda so why did maddy uh, do friendship with uh, uh, peggy because she was afraid that if vanda is not there peggy will bully her she was so much afraid of our peggy 
So she always wanted Peggy to stop making fun of Vanda, but could not summon courage. She could not gather courage. Peggy, stop uh, bullying Vanda. She is also our classmate. You should not do that. She did not have the courage to tell Peggy all these things. So Maddie always wanted to tell this to Peggy. So the story is all about how you should treat your classmates. You should not take into account their social status or which class they belong to, whether they are rich, poor. Why are you so fast? Why are you so fast?